okay so the six zero four twenty twenty all right so we are in the period of confinement so i'm going to do a lesson on resting on resting so i remind that we reached up there in class so we are going to continue so take the definition please so resting is the slow oxidation of iron to form hydrated iron three oxide iron three oxide okay so if i have to write an equation for resting showing the conditions required okay so it would be iron plus oxygen plus water giving iron 3 oxide dot x h2 all right now if we have to balance this equation so finding out that there is free four oxygen actually okay here you have three oxygen so it's not balance okay balancing this equation would require two of fe2 o three dot x h2 o okay making this one four so the amount of hydrogen become 2x all right for oxygen it becomes 6 plus 2x oxygen so we already have 6 we already sorry have 2x here so we add 3 oxygen so the conditions required so as you can retrieve from this equation the conditions required would be oxygen and water okay now prevention of resting we've been discussing in class about some I just remind you that the prevention of resting can be done by by using a protective layer using a protective layer okay and this included painting oiling plastic coating made metal plating all right now okay so i'm just going to quote some so painting plastic coating metal plating okay and uh, we have also the second steps uh, second method of prevention is sacrificial protection okay now what is sacrificial protection we are going to see in a minute okay depth and then third alloying so i'm just going to elaborate on 
the use of of protective layer okay so let us find out now if you're painting something or you're greasing or plastic coating something you are adding a protective layer on it this is eventually preventing oxygen okay so it pre prevents oxygen and water from getting into contact with the metal from getting into contact with the metal okay now if uh, if this protective layer is somehow scratched off what would happen rusting will take place okay so it's a convenient method but you have to be careful okay about scratches occurring with this method okay now what about sacrificial protection now in sacrificial pr protection you are adding okay you are adding a more reactive you are touching a more reactive metal okay to a less reactive metal so this metal is going to react preferentially okay it's going to get oxidized preferentially so it's going to corrode first it is as if the metal is sacrificing itself okay so leaving the other metal intact this is the way that magnesium is in fact protecting iron from rusting okay so the key words to remember in sacrificial protection so the more reactive metal the more reactive metal oxidizes or corrodes preferentially. Okay, than the less reactive metal. Than the less reactive metal. Okay, sometimes um, this is often used in underground uh, in underground uh, cases where the iron pipe, okay, iron metal pipe is being attached with magnesium. So it is recommended to put this metal than other me uh, metals. Because uh, magnesium, you're not going to put sodium, magnesium is the mo a more appropriate metal to be used here. So whenever you have it in your exam, so to choose a metal to, to add to iron, you should use magnesium. Avoid using sodium or the metals because they are too, too unreactive. They have been doing tests and they have found that the magnesium metal is more appropriate here. Okay, another example would be the ship hull, your boat, okay, your large ship is fixed with a zinc, okay, attached to a zinc bar, okay, this is attached to the hull of the ship, we call it the, the hull of the ship, and of course it is made of iron, 
So instead of the ion reacting, which is more reactive according to your reactivity series, you know that zinc is more reactive. So zinc will corrode first, okay? It will sacrifice itself. It will corrode preferentially than iron. So this is the concept of sacrificial protection. Okay, so this, uh, this concept can be related also to the concept of galvanizing. Now what is galvanizing is zinc coating. So again, zinc coating, if you think well, your zinc is reacting preferentially than your iron. So it's a form of sacrificial protect, protection. Okay. Last method that we are going to see that prevents rusting was alloying. Our alloying was, in this case, it is um, a case whereby, whereby it's a very efficient method in the sense that for sacrificial protection your magnesium metal bars so the the metal blocks is getting corroded the zinc bars uh, are getting corroded so they have to be replaced constant uh, uh, constant uh, replacement of those bars of those metal blocks okay should be done to avoid further rusting of my iron okay but for alloying it's a very good method to prevent uh, rusting of iron in the sense that you have already incorporated other metals with the iron. So when you incorporate uh, other metals like nickel, chromium with my iron, you obtain the alloy of stainless steel, which is very resistant to corrosion. Okay, so stainless steel we have already discussed in class about stainless steel and the metals being added here you have chromium okay nickel so how is going to function it is my chromium metal is forming a protective oxide layer okay of chromium three oxide that prevents the iron from rusting okay so my chromium forms a protective oxide layer of chromium free oxide okay that prevents the iron from rusting So I remind you, I gave, have given the notes in class, but we will have not yet covered the explanation. So I've done this explanation. Hope that you have understood. You have to further read in your books. Okay. And if you have any question, please post on the group.